97.1 FM, The Drive presents the Behind the Song Podcast, taking you deeper into classic rock's most timeless tunes. Here's your host, Janda. In this episode of Behind the Song, let's explore the lyrics of Drift Away, a song made internationally famous by Dobie Gray. The song was actually written by Mentor Williams, a songwriter and producer who put in time in the studio with Paul McCartney and Jerry Rafferty, Kim Carnes, and many others. Incidentally, Mentor's brother, Paul Williams, was also a major songwriter in the 1970s, having written songs for Three Dog Night and The Carpenters, and he was a composer for films like A Star is Born with Barbara Streisand, as well as being an actor in movies like Smokey and the Bandit, where he played Little Eno's Burdette. Paul Williams is currently the president of ASCAP, the American Songwriting Society. So there was definitely something in the water at the Williams house in the way of creating music. Mentor Williams wrote Drift Away in 1970, and it was first recorded by John Henry Kurtz, a voice actor and performer who later went on to become the announcer for NBC's Nightly News. Back in the 70s, though, he was trying his hand at singing countryish swamp rock songs, and he recorded Mentor's Drift Away for his 1972 album, Reunion. But Kurtz's version didn't exactly climb up the charts. Soon after, though, the song became a surprise hit when Dobie Gray recorded it and released it in 1973. The song went all the way up to number five on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, becoming the hit of Gray's career and paving the way for international success. He found huge popularity with his effortless balance of pop, country, and soul in Europe and in Africa, and he even later convinced South African officials to allow him to play to integrated audiences during the apartheid era, a major feat for an African-American singer from Texas. So, who was Dobie Gray? His beginnings are mysterious and hard to pinpoint, with some sources claiming his birth name as being either Lawrence Darrow Brown or Leonard Victor Ainsworth, born in either 1940, 1942, or 1943, in either Brookshire or Simonton, Texas. What is known is that he grew up in Texas in a sharecropper family with gospel roots through his grandfather, who was a Baptist preacher. He moved to Los Angeles in the early 60s to make it either as a singer or an actor, where he quickly befriended Sonny Bono and, through Bono's connections, ended up recording songs as Leonard Ainsworth, Larry Curtis, and Larry Dennis before adopting the name Dobie Gray. And that name is a nod to the sitcom The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, which was wildly popular in the early 60s. And it was suggested to him by record executives at the boutique label Stripe, another introduction made by Bono. He had his first top 20 hit with his recording of the song The In Crowd in 1965, a song with a real Motown swing to it and a northern soul feel, which first endeared him to fans in England. He then began taking acting lessons and even starred in theater productions of A Raisin in the Sun and in the Los Angeles production of the play Hair. Meanwhile, he was also singing and releasing albums with a funk rock band called Pollution in the early 70s. In another interesting footnote, Pollution were managed by none other than the actor Max Baer Jr., who you may remember as Jethro in the Beverly Hillbillies. By 1972, he had also begun working in music publishing, and it was at the Almo Irving Publishing Company that he met both Mentor and Paul Williams. It was also that year that he was signed to a contract with Decca Records, and together with Mentor, set out to make his debut album in Nashville. They recruited Reggie Young Jr., guitarist and session musician with the Memphis Boys, who had recorded with the likes of Elvis Presley, John Prine, and Dusty Springfield. And it's Young's guitar riff that starts Drift Away off. And then the lyrics go like this. Day after day, I'm more confused. But I look for the light through the pouring rain. You know that's a game that I hate to lose. I'm feeling the strain. Ain't it a shame? And then comes that sing-along chorus. Give me the beat, boys, and free my soul. I want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. 
Mentor Williams said in American Songwriter magazine that this song was a major learning experience for him as a songwriter to really expose his feelings and write personal, emotional things. He said it was a breakthrough, a song where it was suddenly okay to write about being hurt and not be afraid to show that. The song continues. Beginning to think that I'm wasting time and I don't understand the things I do. The world outside looks so unkind. I'm counting on you to carry me through. Give me the beat, boys, and free my soul. I want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. Now, if you've sung these lyrics as something else all these years, you're not alone. Dobie Gray himself acknowledged in interviews that the lyrics are often misheard and sung as... Give me the Beach Boys, or Give me the Wheat Boys, or even my personal favorite, Give me the Meatballs, which he said he also found amusing. The song continues. And when my mind is free, you know your melody can move me. And when I'm feeling blue, the guitars come through to soothe me. Thanks for the joy you've given me. I want you to know I believe in your song. And rhythm and rhyme and harmony. You help me along. You make me strong. Give me the beat, boys, and free my soul. I want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. Dobie Gray said that his goal was to create the kind of music that makes memories. Music that people will want to revisit time and time again. Songs from the heart. And he and mentor William certainly did that with this version of Drift Away. When it was released in early 1973, it went to number five on the pop chart, sold over a million copies, and went gold by July. It was number 17 in the Billboard year-end Hot 100 singles of that year, and it remains a staple of classic rock, and it's Dobie Gray's signature song. The Rolling Stones recorded a cover of the song when they were in the studio recording their It's Only Rock and Roll album in 1974, although it didn't make the final cut for the album but you can find their version floating around on YouTube. Many other artists have also covered this song. Dolly Parton and Anne Murray, Roy Orbison, Michael Bolton, Ray Charles, Garth Brooks, Bruce Springsteen, and Bon Jovi all have made notable covers of Drift Away. And, of course, Dobie Gray appeared on Uncle Cracker's hit version, as well as in the video, in 2003. Dobie Gray permanently relocated to Nashville in the mid-70s, pursuing country music and writing songs for Charlie Pride, George Jones, Conway Twitty, and more. He continued to tour in Europe, Australia, and Africa, and did radio and TV commercials for Budweiser, Chevrolet, and other huge companies. And his music has been in films like Casino and Wonderland. He passed away from cancer in 2011 at home in Nashville at age 71. Dobie Gray accomplished the American dream, an African-American from poor beginnings who moved to Hollywood and used every talent he had to make it, finding success on the stage as an actor and musician, always working to broaden his skill set and make meaningful connections that would open doors that had previously been shut in showbiz and in the American culture at large, judged not by the color of his skin, but by his talent. He remains an inspiration. I'm Janda, and this has been Behind the Song. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Janda Lane Radio and on Twitter at Janda Lane. Special thanks, as always, to Christian Lane for music and engineering. On the way, episodes on songs from Rush, Simon and Garfunkel, and more classic rock and roll. Put the power of podcasting to work for your business. You can be part of Behind the Song and reach potential customers inside every episode. To advertise your product or service by sponsoring Behind the Song, send an email to podcast at hubbardradio.com now.